friend of mine came into the shop recently and um, he was building a kitchen cabinet <coughs> and he had left over these little magnets you can see them there only the size of well, the size of my thumbnail really three there uh, and he said do uh, have I got a use for them they're these little very strong magnets you can get off eBay I think he got them off eBay to keep the kitchen cabinets shut uh, so I took them and uh, for a week I wondered what am I going to do with these magnets. They uh, kept sticking all my tools together. Drove me nuts really. So I thought I should uh, try and make something with them to do with harmonicas. Uh, so what I've come up with is this. Now this is uh, obviously Friday and it's time for a bit of fun. Uh, but i come up with this. You can see that there. Uh, very, very interesting. And so what happens is here, what I'm doing is I put one of the magnets on the end of a slider and I secured one of the magnets to the comb. And you guessed it, that the opposing forces of the two poles of the magnet create the spring. Look at that, create the spring. Good thing about this is that to take the slide out, you only need to remove this one screw and take the slide out. Look at that. Fantastic. So to put the slide back in, put the slide back in, won't put the screw in, but there you have it. So you have an opposing magnetic slider. That's it for today. I'm not going to take this any further than this. It's not uh, something that I'm too interested in making. Uh, I just needed to, to make something to show my friend that I used his magnets. And uh, there we are. It's the, uh, the John Cook Opposing Polarity Slider. And uh, if you want to, uh, to patent that and uh, become rich, please, uh, please give me a few of your pounds. Thanks very much and have a good weekend. Thank you.